Welcome back friends, I'm Dr. Rajamahidran here, Surgical Gastroenterologist. Um, so the next uh, uh, series about 10 query is related to taking off anatomy, physiology and biochemistry. These are the first MBBS subjects. So can I take anatomy, can I take physiology and biochemistry? So this is the next important thing. So please remember this is a disclaimer. No courses superior or no courses inferior. So if you have a strong love and craze towards any subject, you can do miracles. So there are non-clinical and pre-clinical people who are earning in lakhs as faculties, as app platform uh, faculties, etc. In an extraordinary way. So hereafter, whatever I am going to say is not to hurt anybody or anybody's sentiment. Please, this is not for debate. This is only for the uh, benefit of the juniors. Okay. Number one question. How about taking anatomy, physiology and biochemistry in present scenario? So the first question is simple answer. Don't take these three courses. Anatomy, physiology, biochemistry. Sir, why are you saying so? So very simple. When you finish anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, any work we join. So we will be always looking for a post course completion income. So after completing anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, the vacancy is very, very less in government colleges as well as in most of the private colleges, the vacancy has come down to so low level. They are posted in government general hospitals, especially whereas uh, students uh, completing from uh, Tamil Nadu and all, they are being posted in private, uh, instead of posted in concerned department, they are posted in some other department or in GH. This is coming up more. So there are some vacancies for anatomy and biochemistry, but physiology is oversaturated in government colleges. So please remember, if you are going to take these courses, there are some reasons we'll be discussing soon. So if I say, what shall I do for anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, don't take is my first answer. Second question. So what about the future settlements in the medical colleges? So you know very well, 15 years back, there was a huge demand for the basic science faculties when the medical council allowed opening of so many private colleges, enormous private colleges opened. And at that time, all the non-clinical, pre-clinical, paraclinical people they settle with excellent salary more than the clinical people. So when I completed my MS General Surgery and I joined a private college in Pondicherry, my salary at that time was 30,000 in 2006 or 7 I am saying. So it's only 30,000. At the same time, one of my colleague who is completing anatomy or physiology is getting a salary of one and a half lakhs. So it is totally gone now. So totally gone. So there is no more such vacancy available for these people. In fact, uh, if you are a clinician, you have chances to work in some corporate hospitals also. But after finishing a non-clinical, except for biochemistry people, they don't have opportunity to work in any other corporate institutes. So that's the first important thing. So second important question of future settlements in medical colleges. Will there be a future uh, roaring call over for anatomy, physiology, biochemistry people? Means there is no chance because NMC has already reduced the number of uh, faculties needed per 100 students. So therefore, the demand may not increase for next 10 years, even up to 20 years. So therefore, future settlements in medical colleges are also low. Can we practice medicine? So third question, can we practice general practice? So excellent practice are done by some of the non-clinical people, pre-clinical and paraclinical people in my town itself. They have excellent practice. They finish some fellowship like diabetic fellowships or some fellowship on food care, diabetic care, some fellowship they finish and they perform extraordinarily in their clinical practice. They work in the colleges in the morning time and they come and practice evening general practice. So general practice is not a contraindication. You are already an MBBS degree holder. You are allowed to practice. Nobody can question why you are practicing. So therefore, if you are interested in practicing after completing a, a preclinical subject, you are always welcome. Okay. So fourth question, can we do fellowships? Yes, there are so many fellowships provided by Indian Medical Association. There are so many fellowships available in various uh, institutes. You can always join some, some clinical fellowship and you can always practice. That is always allowed, okay? That is not an issue, you can practice. What salary can we expect? Fifth question is very interesting and important question. So what salary we can expect? If you are going to join in a government college, your starting salary will be around 70 to 80,000. To start with, it's 70 to 80,000. So what about private college? It is not more, it is actually less. So previously it was more private college when you're joining, the salary was around 1.25 to 1.4.
now the private colleges are not ready to give even 60 to 70,000 is the basic pay for a person who is going to join in a private college. In government college, you have increment, yearly increment, various allowances and your pay will one day become 1 lakh plus. But in private colleges, once your pay becomes more and more, they may not be keeping you and they will be replacing you with another person. So please remember, so what salary can we expect is very important because we finally finish a course to have good salary. So that for please remember this sixth question shall I take clinicals later this is a very commonly taken phenomenon most of the people due to family situation and due to crisis at the point of time of preparation they take some preclinical subject like physiology or anatomy or biochemistry and they complete the course and they may join some uh, at some place as some professor or some other assistant professor and they'll be working in some place and suddenly they will get a uh, free time to prepare for entrance and you can always take clinicals after finishing md uh, ms anatomy you can even take ms L surgery nobody is going to stop you so but the only thing is you cannot do in the same university you have to do in different university or you have to do dnb if you have done a masters before now you have to go for a dnb if you have done a dnb before now you have to go for a masters so it is highly accepted and it is allowed and if you have a patient towards such changing to clinical in future you can always do who must take these courses? Seventh question is one important question among this. Who should take these type of courses? The basic point I should tell you here is this courses are to be selected by people who want a peaceful life. Peaceful life with, so, with no medical legal issues, no tension. I want a peaceful life. Number one. Number two, those who have a strong love and crave towards the students. Especially there are some people who have, who, who have a very much affection uh, towards the students they want to be with them they want to be living with them they will I, I have seen some professors become very much attached with these anatomy pro, anatomy assistant professors physiology professors they will be very much close with them until they are uh, getting married and even they always get suggestions from such type of people they are the people who are going to inspire because you are going to touch the fresh clay the fresh brains are coming to you you are going to first person to modify these students so definitely if you have a strong crave to bring a bright future and an excellent future generation of doctors you can always take this type of non-clinical subjects so and those who are in very much strict family situation you are unable to prepare for further exams you have no time you cannot prefer this next year i cannot prepare sir for next two years i cannot prepare i need to go and join somewhere so that time you can also select a preclinical subject so this is nothing wrong so will there be a future demand already answered this eighth question will there be a future demand for these type of uh, preclinical courses i told you there will be no more future demand you might develop yourself some special interest to some super specialties uh, from physiology or from uh, you have to de develop some phd in anatomy biochemistry and you have to develop yourself and for that also there will be very less guidance in future okay so advantages in government colleges that is a very big advantage if you become a, a preclinical person in a government college because if you are a md biochemistry or md physiology or ms anatomy you will very fast become a professor associate professor and you become a professor and there will be a fast turnover you can become a vice principal or a dean so within 15 20 years there are high chances the preclinical people will become a deans so there are so many surgeons and clinicians who are waiting for even becoming an associate professor juniors to us even four five years juniors to us has become uh, higher levels like a, a dean as well as associate professors in various colleges so you can always have a positive input in government colleges if you are opting for anatomy physiology and biochemistry and you are opting a government college it's an excellent place for you okay please take if you are interested in joining some government colleges and if you are able to join in a government college so 10th question so biochemistry people will ask this question sir shall i set up my own lab yes you are the person who is going to own a lab so lab setup is done by biochemistry people only so biochemists always have an extra edge of starting the practice with the labs so labs are having huge income you all know very well and any lab to be always signed and authenticated by a biochemistry person only so therefore you have high chances to practice if you do biochemistry compared with other two specialities so these are the basic things about the first three subjects anatomy physiology biochemistry so we will discuss in the next series about the other specialties thank you